All right, hello guys and girls and women and men and whoever, you know, welcome to Angie Vlog. I hope you're having a good weekend so far. I have a lots and lots of channel messages for you today. We're having a beautiful, so far, Saturday by the time I'm posting this. I'm also working with uh, ancestors, angels, and the Holy Spirit for the crystal messages that I'm going to post today. But also, I have several channel messages as well that they want me to put out there, specifically for this weekend, specifically for what's going on in the world. I'm also being guided by different Ascended Masters archangels and those who speaking of ancestry who has um, Egyptian lineage, uh, Lemurian, um, also Atlantis, uh, very very uh, different uh, uh, Stasi chosen one uh, and those also who are here to uh, protect um, those. It's not only those in the earth uh, spiritual realm that are protecting chosen as star seeds and people who are of the light. There's also humans, okay, earth angels as well, that could be having not necessarily have gifts in terms of like, you know, for those who have uh, the, the gift of sight, hearing, and um, dreams and stuff like that. But they could have, just as everybody else, perhaps uh, prophetic messages in terms of dreams that could have also, um, you know, be able to, to gather a lot of people, uh, you know, and helping this uh, people who are completely kind of put down uh, the truth and clarity and justice. These people can actually, you know, could be the financial helpers, could be the, um, each of us have different, uh, path, divine path, and divine um, things to do in this uh, in this world, okay? So everybody has a part, even if you don't have a gift or talent, you know? And that's that's the, also the job of some of y'all, that you need to let go of that envious, jealous energy because you think, oh, well, I don't have that, so uh, let me jeopardize that person because I don't have that, because why they, sh they have that, but I don't, and blah, blah, blah. Like, this is where you block your blessings and you curse yourself when you go against what... Um, your divine path is even if you have gift or something that's why comparison, competition jealousy and envy is that's that's the devil's work and that's why if you operate in that re low vibration and keep yourself down and then trying to bring other people down with you this is not for you okay these messages this channel my podcast and everything it's not for you okay um but yes, uh, the message that I have, the first one, it's talking about that. Also, I'm being divinely guided. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, to let some people know that anybody of my channel, anybody who I mention in my community board, anybody who are on my website right now as spiritual guidance and advisors, uh, especially this specific um and the next channel, yeah, and the next ch channel that I'm gonna put, the next video, I'm going to put in the description below, uh, certain people who um, were divinely guided by Holy Spirit to put these specific readings, these specific tarot readings that they were done either today or during the previous days. Um, I just wanna warn someone here, anybody actually, if you do anything, because I'm just as God is protected of these spiritual guidance, these spiritual people, so am I. I also have been blessing and protecting these tarot card readings as well, and so is my people. I'm here to warn you that if you ever try to do anything to my people that I put in my description below, that I put into my community board, God shows me in my dreams what you're doing, and it's already sent back automatically. Do you understand me? If you even think about it, if you even tried, because God sees everything and knows your heart. Just because this person triggered you, just because any of this tarot reader, oh, well, that doesn't go with me. That's not for you. If it's not for you, it's not for you. That's what we kept telling you guys, use the sermon. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Everything is a spiritual lesson, whether it's good or bad, whether it's karmic or not karmic. Everything is a lesson. Now, it's up to you to take the lessons or not. You are not obligated to do so. But that doesn't give you the right to try to jeopardize other people's work because it bothers you, because it gets you triggered. 
I'm just here to warn some people that if you even try to do that stuff, you're cursing your own self and your family as well, either to me or any of the spiritual people that I have on my website, writersyet.com. You understand? Understood? Good. I'm not talking about this ever again because I've been repeating this myself I don't know how many times already. Also, the same thing with other people trying to copy the work of those spiritual and myself. I am telling you right now, you only cursing yourself. Stop doing that. Connect with yourself. Talk to your intuition, your higher self. Stop taking people's work. It's not, that's demonic. Stop doing that. You want to have that connection? You want to have that, that connection with the divine? Do the work. Just like all of us have been doing the work. That's it. That's all I'm going to say about that because I'm kind of like exhausted talking about the same thing over and over. Another thing that he's letting me know to let you guys know, as I announced it in other videos as well, but I'm going to announce it in every single one of these. The Eco Store, uh, I already put it on the website too on the top, so you can check. Like I was divinely guided this morning to do so. May 31st is the last day for the items of the Eco Store. So anything that you would like to purchase or anything you would like to, you can look it up if you want it. You know, that will be limited edition. It will be anything that has Writer's Yep logo, that will be yours. It will be uniquely yours, okay? Uh, but yes, everything will be removed as of May 31st everything mm -hmm. and i will let you know obviously i'll announce when there's new stuff on the store but as of may 31st everything that you see there will be removed okay another thing i just added on the bookshop bookshop books that i have already finished reading that definitely you know go check it out and then you know once you read it pay it forward pass it to another person that able to read it very good good book so i just added on the bookshop it says finished book so if you go on the bookshop on the link uh, i'll try to add it into the description here they're great books okay i'm also being guided to add it also in the june um blog that i'm gonna do for the monthly readings um on writersit.com it will be on the blog okay and then on medium as well so thank you guys so much for your like your comments or subscribes and also that too when i'm letting you know that anybody who subscribes or likes the videos i'm able to energetically pick up on your energy and be able to help you out on your healing journey okay healing uh manifestations uh things that you need to work on uh, relationship money anything like that okay so i'm able to pick it up and able to help you out as a collective as well okay so that's something that i've been guided to let you guys know and thank you so much for your donations i really appreciate it okay guys thank you thank you thank you thank you new subscribers those who have been here <laughs> hello hello thank you so much for being here for uh trusting me with your um you know your energy your spirit guys you know and also that too is anybody who is enrolled in my energy is highly protected as well okay so i'm being guided to guys to let you guys to let you know that okay um what else yeah okay so let's get into it this is the first message try not to make it uh, too long but i'm gonna try all right so the first uh message that he let me know today was um talks about the prophetic word which is reads proffered yeah so he let me know today that to start the the message today he says i need you to read proverbs 22 and 6 and it's so funny when i went into the bible study tools on a website that i usually go uh it was that and i was like oh my god like the synchronicity here is amazing um so yeah so it says proverbs 22 6 it says six start children off on the way they should go and even when they are old they will not turn from it so today he wanted to advise some people um, if you're a parent or going to be parent you know especially with the situation that happened in texas with the children that's something that i've been doing this morning i've been you know every single day ever since then uh just praying for uh, the family of those who lost those uh, 14 kids uh, also the recent uh, situation where the teacher and the husband recently died and they left four children uh, behind okay 
So I've been praying and trying to, you know, send them good vibes. And that's something that I've suggested to some of y'all that, you know, if you're, whenever you have time, maybe two minutes or five minutes, trying to send good healing and good vibes to these people. We're not separated, we're connected, okay? So even if you think about them, if you've seen the pictures or what's going on around on social media, like look at the pictures of the kids and like send them good vibration because it goes, it's like, it's like a, a portal, right? So when you send good vibration to these people, to the parents and stuff like that, it's like it multiplies, okay? And don't don't think for a second that prayers are not very strong, especially during this time when these people need healing. Also for anything that's happening in the world, any uh, situation in wars and stuff like that that is going on in the world, that's also another thing where you can also pray for people who are going through things that they don't deserve, right? Um, sorry guys if you hear any noises I left the windows open as I've been saging my place you know and taking any negativity out I do also have a negativity uh, sound as well I'll put everything in the description below so you're also able to protect yourself you know I'm here as I'm protected and divinely guided to teach you guys the ways of how to protect yourself as well okay so I do have um, negative negativity sound uh, um, put on all my videos and it will be there on all the videos okay but i've been the guided <laughs> look at how all the batteries i yeah yeah the enemy doesn't want you guys to know this but i don't care it's gonna be no i'll charge this after um yeah so i have the window open so that all these things you know any demonic or anything spirit gets out of my place as well uh, anybody who's trying to prevent from these messages coming through and any negativity or curses or hexes put into this video or any of my people on my channel anything that to jeopardize their finances mine and health and love and anything sent back to send a hundred ten test full and so it is and i rebuke it in the name of jesus christ amen okay I have so many, like, the Holy Spirit has been so funny with me today. Like, I have so many messages. Like, some of them I was laughing so hard. Anyways, we're going to go through them. But the first message was that. He's letting me know that any parents, um, yeah, he's showing me that post. Um, somebody posted. Uh, it's related to gun violence, okay? So that's something that he's letting me know. But let me read it to you first. And then we'll go to the other yeah, so he said there's someone called is Fifty Shade of Way, Dave New World Second. Anyways, I'll try to see if I can add it um, the post or maybe I'll post it on my um, writers if that come. He said an 11 year old who survived the school shooting in Texas went into survival mode and put someone's blood on her cell to pretend she was dead. The classmate next to her die and then save her life. This is the kind of trauma you hear from an active war zone, not at fourth grade class. Now, this is why it's God is letting you guys know that this is why gun uh, protection, actually eradicating all these guns, uh, laws and stuff like that, it needs to be eradicated. It needs to be removed. Okay. There is, even though through the chaos, through this horrible, horrendous thing, there is a lesson here to learn. And this is, I'm not trying to say like, you know, this is because everybody says, oh God, why would you allow this? And let me tell you something. This is not God's work. This is the devil's work. Also, that he's letting me know that somebody put something on that 18 year old boy to do that. Because it's not right. He was letting me, he's showing me images of what it actually happened. Because I have the gift of sight and, and dreams. So he's showing me how these cops were all, were all together with this. They were all together because it's not normal that they just let him pass and then they kill him after they kill all these kids. Also, he said they're targeting people of uh, Spanish uh, lineage, culture. Um, yeah, he's letting me know is a race. That was a, a, a race attack, racist attack. Okay, this is uh, people who are fucked up in the head with the white supremacy, right? So those are innocent kids. This this is just a demonic, satanic uh, ritual, something that they did. They did something. Okay, the fourteen number. He's saying the fourteen. It's not normal. This is fourteen, and then the what number before was ten. It's a satanic ritual. They're trying to do something, right? But it's not working, it's backfiring as we speak. I already show you in that reading that I told you guys that only see it if you're able to stand the truth. That's the truth, okay? He's trying to show you guys the truth and through all of us, all the prophetic light workers are really being activated and called to do what we gotta do, okay? Also, I'm being guided to let someone here know. If you're trying to 
prevent our divine connection with my twin flame or high level soulmate you're only cursing yourself i already know who my person is and he knows who i am so just putting it out there the same thing is uh reading the um this uh sun moon uh uh, reader put recently anyways i'm gonna put in the description below on the description on the second message that she wrote she talked about that and have something that god is saying you have to say it too because i i know who it is and that my person knows who i am it's just that we're going through some deep healing and deep things and he needs to go through the karmic lessons that i've been through already okay but yeah that's all i'm being guided to tell you guys so whoever is doing that you're cursing yourself and May God have mercy on your soul because you're preventing and intervening into divine connections. And you have a fucking satanic dim demon inside of you. Just saying. Also, don't be afraid of people intimidated by your gifts. If you have telepathy, uh, telekine telekinesis, uh, gift of sight, dreaming, uh, able to heal, reiki healing. These are demonic people that they need to repent themselves and they need to and also that too he's letting me know the book of matthew that's something that stephanie p smith was talking about yeah he wants me to tell you guys go follow stephanie p smith she has very good uh messages that directly come from him okay from the holy spirit from god okay and he's letting me know there's a recent message that she put uh, maybe i'll put it in the description of this that talks about that, that she talks about how, you know, there's the religious uh, people and then there's spiritual people, okay? And then uh, how in Matthew, which he also is putting me to do that after I do my crystal <laughs> crystal reading, I have to study Matthew, the book of Matthew. So that's something that he's saying, go check it out because she's already more advanced. She's working on that. But he's saying the book of Matthew is important to see because Jesus left some knowledge about how religious people... Uh, religion and spiritual is uh those who have that religious yeah they just put their religion and their conditioning and programming stuff onto other people and they want people to do what they wanted to do but they are not willing to do the work and they're jealous and envious because some of the spiritual people have the gifts that they don't have so they start attacking the spiritual people and calling them demonic and stuff like that by the way i know who you are who's doing the gaslighting and talking shit about me i know who you are god show me who you are but you're only cursing yourself. And I pray for you because I know you do have family that depend on you. And I don't wish what, you know. And also, I know you go to church. I know you're with your church people. I know. I know. I know that that's why a lot of uh, church people don't allow me or want me to speak or trying to send, do things behind the back and doing spiritual shit, shit that think that they don't know. God sees everything. But I'm just praying for your family stop talking shit anyways look at there's gonna be in other channel messages that i'm gonna talk about but he's letting me know he's watching you okay i already forgive you you know what i'm saying because that's it just work on yourself repent yourself um if not hey it's a free will you do what you want but you've been warned that's it uh so yeah so parents parents who are gonna be parents uh soon or they're going to uh or we're already parents He's letting me know, and this is something that I was taught as a child. My dad, who is a cop, hey daddy, uh, he told me a few things. Like I saw him, like, you know, how he did certain things, but there was a certain lessons that he, I think he unconsciously did it. How to defend myself, how to, um, you know, if I'm in school or something like that, like look at the door, look at things. Like he will show me things that I learned as a child of how if ever that happened, if ever we're stuck in a school, if we were stuck in some situation, if we ever get kidnapped and stuff like that. Like, I know these are rough things, especially that, like, you know, start putting your kids in uh, karate, martial arts, uh, uh, learning how to use a gun or sword. Yeah. I mean, guns shouldn't be allowed, but hey, if they have to defend themselves, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, I honestly I think it's more important he's letting me know. He's like, yeah, it's how to defend themselves. How to do things like this. Like, literally think before, like, act. Don't let, like, oh, you know, stay, like, stuck like that. Like, when there's situations like this, like, war zone, like, this is an, also a lesson. Like, you can not think that your kids are going to learn everything with school. They're going to learn everything with watching TV all day and stuff like that. Cartoons, uh, video games and stuff. But I'm telling you, this is, God is showing me that these are kids who defend themselves. They were, they're heavy video game players. 
Like their parents didn't t teach them. They learned how to survive. Also, this person, it could be that this kid, he's saying like, it's a parent that has taught them how to defend themselves, how to, you know, how to be in survival mode. We have to teach our kids how to be in survival mode in case things like this happen, right? What happened in Texas should not, it could have been prevented. It should have never happened, right? But also there's heavier things behind the scenes that you guys are not able to see that you have to see with the gift of, uh, you know, with your sight, with faith, you know? Because it's deeper than that. It's deeper than what you think. Also, they're putting in the media a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Listen to your intuition, guys. Listen to know what the media is actually speaking, the truth or not. And I'm telling you right now, it's all being like sugar-coated, blah, 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 blah. So you guys, yeah. Don't believe whatever says on the media, I'm telling you. Use your intuition. Um, yeah, so then he's letting me know to go to Psalm 38. Is there anything else? Yeah, so he said the police, the other one is Eric Stanley. The police waited three hours before entering the bathroom at Pulse where the shooter was executing people. This is always the story. So you see how they were waiting until the person killed? Like, that's not normal. And this is planned. Unfortunately, these people, it sucks, but God reveals to redeem. It was planned. This is demonic this is this ritual these organizations this behind the scenes cult doing this stuff they he's also let me know they needed those four they needed an innocent they needed 14 innocent they needed one righteous person who will stand in front to defend those kids which is the teacher and they will need uh, uh somebody who will die yeah it's a ritual he's letting you know there's a ritual it will it, it, and it's backfiring <laughs> right now also, it's backfiring even more as you're being aware by me if you're watching this. Mm -hmm. The best, what was the other one that he said? Wait. Yeah, the only way to get in the actual story of what happened on Uvald is to be on this app, basically on social media, on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. Like actually people's, or the Twitter or something like that, right? But I don't have Twitter, so I'll just go. Because, buddy, the rest of the country is on full propaganda mode, yeah. Like, they're trying to defend the cops now. They're trying to look at the cops in a different light. And this is why we really have to defund police, okay? There has to be other ways. Like, God is saying, like, you, you need to wake up. Like, that was literally given to you. Like, the enemy will show one of his enemies so they can show you all the enemies. Do you get it? They fucked themselves up. Not only they're showing, like, this, yeah, it's, yeah. And then that too. This, I couldn't believe it, but I, God was like, it is the truth. Oh my God, the co this is from Red Wolf Lees and Zapatistas, Joshua Potash. Oh my God, the cops uncuffed a parent for urging them to do something. Once she got out of the cuff, she ran into the school and got her kids herself. The police aren't just useless, they're harmful. While ordinary people show themselves to be heroes again and again. I'm an ordinary person. Those who speak in the truth are an ordinary person. People who talk about just the ordinary person who being censored and literally uh, done stuff so that we don't speak the truth. Every ordinary person who stand against prosecution, this is why I got the Mary Mandelin card, is we're literally divinely by God to do, to speak up, to do what we gotta do. You guys need to find that within yourself and wake the fuck up because we cannot do this by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Now he's saying the Psalm 38 to 18. He says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and it saves those who are crushed in spirit. Okay? So that's what he's letting me know is that through this word, it's like don't believe that he's not close to you that he that even though you're going through this heartache even though you you're feeling crushed in your spirit and stuff like that like remember just stick to prayer continue praying continue helping continue doing what you got to do continue healing because you're not alone and this is for a specific people who are dealing with some like the grief of 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 injustices oppression and dealing with this stuff okay one thing that i'm getting is that one of the archangel michael is around the parents the people who lost their children, okay? Uh, and anybody, anybody who needs that guidance or something like that, or needs some type of sign or something like that. I always have my Michael um, 
uh, thing. But either way, Michael is just a, um, like a, a, a lifeline before you get to Jesus and then Jesus to God, okay? So that too is like whenever you pray, when you when you read the word on the Bible and stuff, it's like it gets you closer to Jesus and then, and then closer to God, okay? So that too, but either way, I feel like God is in everyone right now, like trying to help you guys out, trying to be the father that he is, okay? And I feel it because whenever we're I'm praying and talking to him, it's like, it's like he, I'm like, I can't stop crying, you know, I can't, I, you know, and this is painful. And also I feel like it's like the whole spiritual realm is like in grieving for this situation, you know, it's not, but also we're not dwelling there. We're okay, how can we take that and do something about it? Do something better, right? Because we are not letting the devil win. It will never win. It's already defeated. That's what I'm here for too. Archangel Michael says, trust in the heaven, okay? He says, you are safe, angels stand close, surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur, okay? Looking at this confirmation could be a miracle. Looking little things that happen in your own surrounding could be a miracle. Finding justice or something that is gonna, it's coming, okay? Another thing that I'm hearing, holy amethyst. Amethyst is one of, um, it's a beautiful rock, okay? This rock, it really helps with, uh, I always have it here as a protection, okay? Um, amethyst is really good for protecting your intuition, okay? It's like a motherly protecting your, your third eye, your crown chakra, and also even your home, okay? Even yourselves, okay? So especially for those who are dealing with spiritual attack, especially if you're a creative or culture creative or someone who, who does this type of work, it's good to, even though I know that some of you are religious, like really spiritual people or religious, you don't believe like, oh, crystals and stuff like that, whatever. Um, it helps because you don't know who's attacking you in not only in the external, but also in the spiritual, okay? So amethyst, to have it, just to have it with you, to have it on you, uh, put on you or in your home or under your pillows and stuff like that, like those who who have the amethyst you understand what i'm talking about right it's just you feel it you know that there's this divine protection and also that too it keeps you connected even better with angels it keeps you connected with your ancestors you have a higher it's like um it's like a telephone it's like an iphone there you go you want to like a wi-fi there you go amethyst is the wi-fi of the spiritual realm that's it it's just the wi-fi the connection between you know the higher self and the protection too as well because don't think for a second that the devil doesn't try to intervene into those messages, communication, dreams, or anything that you want to connect with God. Any of your prayers. That's what I'm trying to say is that don't be naive. You know what I'm saying? This is a protection way of whenever you're communicating with God, with the Holy Spirit, with your ancestors, it's protected. There's nothing that it can intervene. Because remember, the devil is a spirit and it will try to intervene and try to listen and try to jeopardize your stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you. It's a free will. You do what you want. All I'm saying is that have some amethyst around, okay? If you're somebody who is starting your spirituality, going through your spiritual awakening, or going through ascension and stuff like that, you're a prophetic person. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just a selenite. Selenite as well. Also, if you believe in intense stuff, your cross, your little Jesus, your, you know what I'm saying? That's fine. But have ways to protect yourself. Don't be naive, okay? Yeah, divine alchemy. That too, it helps with alchemizing any negativity or stuff. Like I'm telling you, whenever I'm around meditating around amethyst and I, I can feel the negativity or the people doing stuff and like I alchemize all that hate and rage and I turn it into creativity. I paint, I write, I do tower readings, I heal people. I, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you will do it. You will turn it. It's like a shh, shh, and the alchemist will help with that. That's it, okay? Move beyond current challenges, focus on what you desire. That too, it will keep you focused. Some of you are going through ascension, Serapis Bay. Move into your true self, rise above the darkness. The light is here. You are the light. Make sure you're protecting it though. Don't be naive. Hope, love and acceptance. Okay? Love is yours. Recognize your, your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. That too, whenever even into the negativity, like that's how the devil operates. That's why you got us. Yeah, you go through it, you accept it, and then switch it up, okay? Don't stay there. Mary Magdalene. That's something that he's letting me know. That book that I just almost done reading, Mary Magdalene Revealed. It's going to be in the bookshop, okay? Very, 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 very amazing book, okay? That I'm learning. I've learned so much in that book. Like, you have no idea, okay? So, 
that's for some of you who is going through the spiritual, uh, going through the ascension process, uh, you know, not being religious, you know what I'm saying? You use any form that you can to connect to your ancestors, your universe, your higher self, your, your ascended masters, you know what I'm saying? Everything is one, everything, you know, we're not separated. Teachers awakens, you have something important to share. Follow the inner call, don't let anything stop you. Okay, some of us have been called, have been divinely called to do this, right? And I'm not the only one to, uh, having these messages, having these prophetic words, having, you know, using whatever I've learned into my life and, and how to help other people. That's what we're here for, okay? Especially if you know that if you're a teacher, an educator, a psychic reader, a light worker, a creative artist, uh, I'm going to talk about that in the other messages as well. Right now, uh, God is saying he's going through purify. He's been purifying our hearts, okay? So some of us could be feel a little stagnant, a little fatigue, a little stuff, you know? But sometimes we get all these like inner strength that come out of nowhere that, that it makes us want to do something, that it makes us uh, do like follow that whenever that happens, okay? And whenever it's time to rest, you will know, like your body will tell you, I need to rest, I need to heal, I need to, you know what I'm saying? Rest is productive, okay? Because yeah, there's a lot of power self-love right now because the healing of the heart is happening, okay? So a lot of self-care, a lot of self-love, especially during this time, especially if you're going through some grieving, especially if you're going through some very difficult situations, okay? Definitely a lot of self-care and self-love. And uh, never forget that, you know, you're literally a prayer away, a meditation away, uh, going into the nature away, uh, going into your, having a bubble bath, a, a moon bath, or whatever you need to do uh, away. Okay, there's things that you don't need to money. You don't need any, uh, you know what I'm saying? All you need is the willingness, the, that little extra, going that extra mile, doing something for yourself, investing in yourself, self-love, right? Self-love. All right, I'll see you guys later in the next video. I love you guys so much. Stay pray up, keep blessed, okay? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.